so it's it's micro, it's electromechanical systems, right? So it's uh -huh. micro because it's small. A micron is a thousandth of a millimeter. Electromechanical because these are moving parts which are run electrically, like a motor is a moving part which gotcha. moves mechanically but it's powered electrically. We take MEMS and we apply it to make switches. For example, a chip here, it's actually just a package, it's got four little silicon chips on it. So what you're seeing here is sort of a zoomed in version, if you kind of zoom out, you see like your typical 60 hertz waveform. But because the MEMS device is acts so quickly, we have to really get in there and uh, take a look at the, the microsecond level events. We'll take a look at what was going on. All right, so from each, from each one of these other lines to the next one, it's 200 microseconds, and the entire event, the entire switching event happened in about half of that, about 100 microseconds. The world around you is mechanical, chemical, right. biological. Uh, silicon chips are fundamentally electrical, but if you want to interface with the outside world, which is what a sensor does, you want a chip that's mechanical. Essentially, I mean, to summarize, right, anything electrical, it's got to have a lot of switches because switches control how the power moves. So this is a very fundamental innovation which, which, which would touch upon essentially any high power electrical system.